You know, as I sit here contemplating the numerous terrible decisions that brought me here, I think it's time to recognize that this has gone far beyond wanting a few extra beacons and is now securely in I have to do whatever it takes to keep this entire world from being destroyed territory. Hello everybody and welcome back to my Minecraft Playtime series and wow I just cannot stop looking at this view. And yes there's plenty of things that could still be fixed. We could get all the terraforming done here. We could get the terraforming done over there. Or we could get the terraforming done over here. Or we could do that. Nah, well it doesn't matter. I could spend all day talking about the things that I haven't got done or that I need to get done. But sometimes you just gotta take a step back and really appreciate all the progress that you have done. And we really have gotten a ton done for from our farming area to the library and its surrounding area and even beyond to stuff that we haven't actually got to yet. And today we're gonna start bridging that gap quite literally actually. But first I wanted to do just one little thing that I didn't quite get to last episode which has a lot to do with this view right here. And it honestly looks pretty decent already but there's one tiny little thing I can do to make it a lot better and it all has to do with these two roofs right here. You see from this far away it's kind of hard to tell that it's even two roofs at all. You have to walk all the way up here and maybe even all the way down here before you start to realize, oh, this is one roof and this is another one. They just completely blend together because they're both made out of the same thing. See, from here, it's super obvious, but from back here, which is the view that I'm really looking at all the time, it just looks exactly the same. And we're going to fix that super, super easily by just continuing this pattern right around here. We're just going to create this handrail out of the birch wood, which I think is going to look great because it's just going to add a little bit of separation in the black color. And it's such a tiny thing, but it makes a huge difference to the way you look at this. Because now the fact that there's a walkway and a separation in between these two roofs make it really, really obvious that there's something there. And the contrast in color just gives you something to look at other than a whole bunch of flat black nothingness. But as I look at this view, there's just something that it's missing. And I think I have the perfect idea for what can go here in the middle. <laughs> Alright, I know I haven't talked about that build yet, but I'm going to get to that in just a second. But first, I've really, I've been putting this on, okay, uh, this is bad. Okay, um, yeah, so, uh, that was awkward. What are you doing down here? You, you couldn't have warned me about that? Okay, uh, but any, oh, thank you. He, he protected me, so it's, we're, we're all... Okay, whatever. I need to go get some beacons. And that is... Oh my goodness, this is not going well. All right, I need to get some beacons, and I keep putting it off, and it's just about time that I go and get this... Oh my goodness... Well, um, I've, I've officially completely lost my train of thought. I'm just gonna relax a little bit in the air, and hopefully I don't die here. What? What did- Oh my goodness, I- I swear, I'm not- I'm not normally like this. I- it, Okay. I think- I think we're good. Okay, that was- that was a bit stressful. Um, what was I saying? Beacons. I need to get beacons. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Well, I'll, I'll show you why in just a second. In fact, no, it doesn't even matter. I, I'm still working on destroying that entire island out there to turn it into a giant lake. You know, that thing I've been working on for like four, five months. I, I don't even know how long. A really, really long time. But yeah, I really need to get that finished. And I want to do it all at once. So I'm going to get a whole bunch of beacons put around. It's just something that I need to get done because I, I need to have a lot of beacons anyway. So I'm coming back here to get some more heads. And this is clearly not my day because normally 
this would not be a big deal, but I am all sorts of flustered right now. So I'm just gonna hide down here, set down my shulker boxes and get to work. All right. Well, this honestly started out really well. I think I found almost all three of those in the first maybe 12. Oh, hello. In the first like 20 minutes of searching around. But I don't know. Since then, I think I've been doing this for, I don't know. It feels like two, three hours, but it's probably been closer to just one. And I have found a grand total of only one more wither skull, which is kind of a pain. I've even had to go all the way back and get a reload of golden carrots because I think I ran through an entire stack while I was doing this and whoops. Yeah, it's this is this is not working out well, especially considering I was really hoping to get, I don't know, maybe 30 skulls. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is not going to work. Oh, a chicken. So with all that said, there's been a little bit of a change in plans for what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be making a wither skeleton farm in this episode, but I've been here for way too long. So I'm going to run back. I'm going to walk you through the lighthouse that I made and yeah, and then then we'll get around to the farm. Maybe be a little bit more careful this time. All right. I said I'd be careful, but maybe I wasn't careful. All right. This is this is fine. And we're free and we're not free. Uh, oh, there we go. All right, now we're good. Serves you right. Boy, I don't know what's going on with me today. I am just having an absolutely terrible time in the nether. And I would totally apologize, but I'm pretty sure everybody watching this just absolutely loves seeing me suffer. So uh, let's talk about this. And this thing is so simple, but I just, I, I really love it. This is honestly one of my favorite things to build. And I don't mean lighthouses. I more mean in like a compositional sense, I suppose. I don't know if that makes perfect sense, but if I come over here, you know how I always talk about this view and just, you know how before there was just something missing in the middle and now when you look at it you just see the lighthouse out in the distance and it looks so cool and i keep saying lighthouse it's not technically a lighthouse because there's no light up here and it's not up here to help ships get in from the ocean this is more of like a gatehouse or i don't really know what it's gonna be we'll we'll figure out something later but it's still got the shape of a lighthouse so I, i'm just calling it that for now i just yeah i really like it i feel like it just really completes this area particularly when you're looking at at it from this direction because anybody who's been watching these videos for quite a while you'll probably recognize that i really like to finish or that's that's not exactly right i really like to work on like small sections and get everything done and just really build and bring an area to life before i move on to a new place in this particular situation i kind of just mean this whole area here because i'd really like to move on over to this side and create out the city that i had planned and then i've got this whole area that i still need to get rid of all this land and this is going to be like a really awesome lake lakeside not lakeside but in the middle of the lake village have i ever said that i think that might be the first time that i'm actually revealing these plans but yeah this this is gonna be a huge village here in the middle of the lake and I'm so excited for that and then of course we've got this island over here which I envision having some kind of palace on it sometime in the future but all of this stuff it's still really far away because I don't want to just run all the way over here and start building a palace I want to work my way over there if that makes sense so I, I want to finish this area get over to the bridge I can go over the bridge maybe we'll do some stuff along the edge over here we'll go through and make like a huge thoroughfare to walk through the city it's all gonna be really really cool eventually but like i said it's just we've got to work our way there and all of that is just a really long-winded way of saying i think this this little lighthouse thing it just does a really good job of kind of tying this whole area together and sort of bringing this whole region to a little bit of a conclusion yes we've still got some terraforming over there to do yes we've got this terraforming over here to do and the mountain itself isn't done but i i kind of i kind of consider the mountain to be its own region personally so I'm not, I'm not super concerned with that. But like this whole area here, 
this this little circle the the lighthouse just ties it all together for me and i i just i really couldn't be more proud of what we're doing here but okay enough yapping i need to get back over to the nether and i need to start putting together a wither skeleton farm and for this particular farm we're actually not going to be using the nether fortress that i typically go to because i'm going to be using an ian x04 design that's actually really really cool uh, i should be able to do it without having to spawn proof a whole bunch of stuff which is really really exciting and I'm hoping that it works out really well because I'm not not really wanting to do a whole lot of work on a mega farm here because there's there's still a couple things that I wanted to complete in this episode and I actually didn't really need to come here in the first place but I wanted to come and show I put some lanterns on chains here in this storage room area it's been probably a month maybe even a little bit longer since the comment but I had a suggestion to add some lantern on chains here in this room and I'm not sure if this is exactly what you had in mind but I added these in here and I actually think it really helps the whole area maybe i might even put some more like here in the corners as well i'm not sure it might kind of mess with this area since we've got like a, a little bit of a stair lining here on the top on this side but nothing here on this side i'm not sure but i really like these and i just wanted to show this because i do really appreciate any comments you guys send any sort of suggestions you have i'm totally open to them and i really really like just seeing you know, what you like about what I build, what you don't like, what you think could be better. But that is neither here nor now because we've got to go, I think, this way. I really hope it's this way because I'm just going yep it's this way because you can see in the distance i've already been busy now this gigantic scary looking box and i can't believe i just called this a box that that is utterly humiliating this gigantic circle is actually thanks to a mod called mini hud and all it does is you can just stand somewhere and create a really big circle around you i think it's 128 in diameter i want to say or maybe it's 128 in radius I'd, I'd have to look it up but basically this is if you stand at the very middle of this circle which is right up in there then anything inside of this circle can spawn and anything outside of it is going to despawn and what this is really useful for is going through and checking out where exactly you can stand to afk for mob farms and i'm going to use another mod that i just recently got called free cam so i can just go like this and now i can go into a free cam and you'll see right beneath here we've got a nether fortress and i've done my best to kind of map out the area and figure out exactly where i want to build it and i think i'm going to be placing it right here in the middle of this circle right here so we're going to be able to spawn a whole bunch of wither skeletons and we're going to be able to keep all the rest of this stuff out of our spawn radius so i think as far as like despawning stuff all we're gonna have to do is just this area right here this area over here and all this stuff over here but other than that like like that's really nothing that's really not a big deal as far as spawn proofing stuff goes so i'm really really happy about that but we've got quite a bit of work ahead of us so i'm gonna snap back to my real body and we gotta get to work because even after i finish this i've still got one more thing that i really want to finish in this episode and it's gonna be pretty big as well so let's just hit the time lapse This is really bad. Well, what are the odds? So I think what happened is I lit the portal down below and it opened up into a spawner underground and all of the wither skeletons are right here. And I, as soon as I went through the portal to activate the other side, I just got obliterated. This is gonna be fun. All right, well, we're back. And it's a good thing that I already made all of this stuff. Grab some firework rockets and a little bit of food. And now I've had a little bit of time to think about a strategy. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some obsidian from up here. Oh, this is so frustrating. We were so close to having this done. All right, so there's the portal right there. But it looks like this portal is not gonna be an option. Hopefully this is far enough away. I'm gonna make a portal right here real fast activate that and now i just i just gotta hope that i don't die i should have brought a sword i really should have brought a sword 
Okay. Actually, yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna have to go back and get a sword and a pickaxe and stuff like that because I've got to dig all the way back down there. I'll be right back. All right, none of this gear is super great, but it should be good enough. And we can just go back through this portal and I probably should have brought a bed. Well, you know what? I'm always gonna be forgetting something. All right, and I went ahead and cheated and I looked back at that previous video and found the coordinates. And it looks like we need to go this way about 200 blocks, which is in the ocean. Brilliant. Could you hear the sarcasm in my voice there? Oh, and I, I didn't bring torches either. This, this is just going great. And I've got to hurry because otherwise I will lose all of my gear and that will be really, really bad. All right, whatever. We're just going to go straight down. It's a good thing I have this flint and steel. All right, here we are. Oh, yep. Hello there. You've got my stuff, don't you? Oh, there they are. Um, maybe a bunch of my stuff went over to the other side. Yep, it's, it's all right here. Oh, this is going so well. There's a gas shooting at me. Oh, wait, that wasn't a gas. That was, that was a blaze. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Give me back my elytra. I don't care about this pumpkin skull, but give me back that anyway. I don't have a bow, so you die. Do I have a bow? Oh, I do have my bow but I don't have arrows. Yeah, that's the problem with all this is I, I was carrying all of the equipment that I need to build this. So, oh, there's my boots. Oh, I am missing so much gear. I'm missing a ton of gear and I'm also missing a bunch of the stuff that I need to build. Well, I'd be lying if I didn't say that was a little bit depressing. I lost not that much armor, fortunately, not too much armor, but yeah, I had three shulker boxes worth of stuff and I cannot find a single shulker box anywhere. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go back and get some more materials. Fortunately, I'm almost done with the farm, but I, you know, I, let me get rid of this. See, that's, that's the problem with me is when I go and build farms, I bring a ridiculous amount of ex excess resources. Like I just don't want to have to worry about it. I don't want to have to worry about not having it. And so I bring a ton of stuff and well, now I just lost a ton of stuff. <sighs> just got to keep telling myself, not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're just going to go back. We're going to get some more gear. We're going to get some more resources. We're going to finish up this farm and it's all going to be great. It's all going to be great. All right. And I've got the last few bits of supplies that I'm going to need. So let's just fly all the way back. And to be completely honest, there's actually so little left to do. I think I'm not even going to bother making a time lapse. So I just got to fly. That is a lot of turtles. And we should see over here in the distance right there. That's where our portal's supposed to be. So I'll just make a little place for me to get my supplies out. And I'm just going to take it all with me because there's not that much left. So now I just need to pillar up until I'm at 215, I believe. And there we are. <laughs> All right, and the tutorial says that I can light this up and go through to the other side and everything should be all done, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared again. <laughs> and we made it. We should be able to stand here and eventually mobs will start to come through here. Oh. There's one up there. All right, and I think as they come through here, they'll start to get pushed down. Oh, it's working. I'm not gonna lie. I was getting a little bit nervous because I sat here for, I don't know, a good minute or so. Oh, let's, let's just do it. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, that feels amazing. I'm so happy. Uh, all right, no heads yet. And we got it. We got our first head. Oh, I'm so happy we're done with this. This, this was a... Re this was a really stressful situation, I'm not gonna lie. And you know, the really dumb thing about it is at the end of the day, it wasn't really a big deal. It's just, I don't know, sometimes you just get in those situations where you're having a rough day at work or at school or something, and then you come home and you just really expect everything to go perfectly well. There's another skull, and then they just absolutely do not go well, and... Well, this this was probably one of those times for me. But you know what? We came out the other side, we got our farm all finished, 
and it's working absolutely flawless. I can't believe it. I've got four already. This was absolutely worth it. Oh, and this is actually a perfect situation for me to show you why I actually use this big sphere around here. You can see the farm is working absolutely flawlessly, but if it ever does start to slow down, one little trick that I can do, and I'll go into the free cam mode just to show you a little bit better, but if I come all the way down here to where the farm is, you'll see there's a bunch of blazes, there's some skeletons in there. I don't actually see any right now, but they're could be some skeletons in there and other stuff. You can see all the pigment, they go out over here to the, these corners and they despawn out there, but there's no way to get rid of the blazes. So what I can do is I can actually come back up here. I can just jump straight up. You'll see all the blazes that were there are despawned. You, you can see they, they start to respawn immediately. So it's, it's not like absolutely perfect, but it's just a, a really nice way to help increase the, the spawn rate just a little bit. And I think 26 goals is plenty for now. I was only up there for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I don't know exactly how long, but I've already got this much. So I think that's plenty to go and do. All right, I just got to be real with you. I got to this point and I was this close to starting to spawn all those withers. And uh, I don't know, I guess I just got to the point where I, I was doing it and I thought, you know what? How can I call myself a Minecraft YouTuber and not do this in a way more exciting way? So we're gonna do this. I've got two, four, six, eight, nine withers here and I'm gonna spawn them all at once. Please don't, but don't worry. You should absolutely worry because I've done plenty of, well, let me just show you. Oh, you sweet summer child. All right, I've got my little potion stations. I've got potions of instant healing. I've got all sorts of them in there. I've got regeneration. I've got speed, I've got strength, and I even have a couple night vision potions here at the end. And all I'm going to have to do to activate this is just boom, and I've got health. So we've got that here. I've got a respawn station just in case, you know, the, the unthinkable happens. Where's the face palm emote when you need it? And just in case all of these withers make it all the way over here, well, I've got myself a little emergency button. So uh, we'll see if you guys ever get to find out what this is. Oh, this is actually terrifying. Now that, now that I'm here, I'm uh, starting to wonder if I'm not making a poor decision, but we're gonna go through with it anyway. All right, we're just one wither skeleton skull on each of these away from being surrounded by withers. Oh, and actually I kind of wanted to check if I place this on the far wall instead of on top of there, is it still gonna activate it? Yep, yep, it does, it does. Oh no, I need to hurry. All right, we got this. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm already about to die. <laughs> All right, um, it was a nice try. Maybe maybe I uh, overestimated myself a bit there, but you know what? I've, I've got this just in case. One thing I don't have is another bow, so uh, that might be a problem. Um, yeah, no, nah, it, it's it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run in there. I'm gonna try and get my uh, my bow back, and yeah, we're that that's that's just that's what that's what I'm gonna do. We're, we're gonna get a bow. Oh, it's totally gone. <laughs> it's totally gone. Oh no, this is so bad. And I don't, I don't have a pickaxe. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're all just going straight up. Oh, this is bad. Oh, mistakes have been made. All right, so I think I'm just gonna have to lure them down to me. So uh, let's, let's do this. I'm gonna come over here and I'm just, I'm just gonna try and try and do something. All right, there's, there's one right there. Don't, don't know which one this is, but we're, we're going for it. Oh, this is, this is, this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> we're we're gonna we're gonna have to break this way sooner than I thought we would. Let me go ahead and grab that. Get myself a little bit of that. Oh, and there's water now. Great. Oh. <laughs> uh. This. With, withers don't heal, do they? They they do heal, don't they? I I'm pretty sure they do heal. Wow. <laughs> All right, we, we've got to call back up. We're, we've got to call back up or they're going to they're going to get out of here. And this is going to be really, really bad. All right, it's I'm, I'm calling in the cavalry. All right, so these guys are going to have to get through here. So we're just going to have to uh, make this staircase wider or not staircase. We're going to have to make this a bit wider. Oh, this is so bad. If, if they all if they all get up there and they start just wreaking havoc everywhere, this this is not that far from my base. Oh. I might have made some big mistakes. 
Where is where this water coming from? Oh no, there's, there's just no way. There's just no way. <laughs> Guys, I think I just seriously overestimated myself here. Alright, here we go. These guys aren't going to be even close to enough, are they? Oh, this this isn't going to even be even be close to enough. Hey, we're we're no we're nowhere near prepared enough. Oh, this is bad. They're just they're just dying. They can't even attack. Oh, mistakes were made. Really, really big mistakes were made. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something drastic. I've got to I've got to retreat and try again. This. This, this is bad. I'm really really hoping that they get out of render distance once I get over there. Okay, good. They, they disappeared. All right, so we got to think of a new strategy. Wow, I, I'm sweating right now. That was, uh, that did not go to plan. You know, as I sit here contemplating the numerous terrible decisions that brought me here, I think it's time to recognize that this has gone far beyond wanting a few extra beacons and is now securely in, I have to do whatever it takes to keep this entire world from being destroyed territory. All right, my new strategy, we're gonna use night vision and we're gonna use invisibility and, we, and I've got two bows here and I'm gonna go invisible and I'm just gonna try and pelt them with arrows for as long as I can. And then as soon as hopefully I've got all of them to the point where I can't damage them with arrows, then I can spawn a whole bunch of iron golems and maybe actually get something done. And I'm sure this is clear by now, but this this was not planned. This this was not how it was supposed to go. I'm actually incredibly terrified right now because I've got so much awesome stuff over here that I really don't want to get blown up by withers. So um, yeah, if this doesn't work, then I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> well, uh... The Withers are about to destroy my uh, little sanctuary in here, which is not good. Try and get all of my stuff before it gets blown to pieces. All right, well, I got all my stuff out of the way, but I want to be honest, I have <laughs> I have no idea what to do. So um, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to keep trying to do stuff, and I, I'll come back later, and hopefully I'll have good news, but... Maybe, uh, maybe I won't. All right, I'm gonna try and come over to this side. Oh, and I'm about to lose my, uh, my night vision. That's, that's really bad. That's, oh, this is so bad. This, this is like, this is like the worst. All right, so I went ahead and I just killed my, so oh, I, that takes me all the way back here. That's annoying. I went ahead, I took all of my gear off and I died. So now with a little bit of luck, so far so good. There's one, he's not shooting at me. All right, and there's all my gear. All right, we made it. Throw all that on. Now I think there's not so many over here. I think there's one right there. But if I if I can get just one or two of them, like in a place where I don't have to fight all of them at once, then maybe I'll have a chance. Come come and get me. One hit at a time. That's that's it. I think with just these two over here, it's definitely doable now. Oh, oh, we got one of them. We got one of them. Oh, perfect. Oh, he's gonna die. We got him, we got him, we got him. And we even got the nether star. Oh, we're doing it, we, that's one down. Nine, nine to go. <laughs> one down, nine to go. Oh, that's not good. All right, stay alive. Stay alive. All right, now we just we just got to get him to come for us right here. All right, there we go. There we go. Got him. All right, two down. That's a uh, two down, seven to go. I'm just like a real life superhero, aren't I? 
Come on. Die. Please. Die. Die. Alright, I think there's just four left. Just don't die. I need to not die. Did I get him? I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, that one. That one was close. Three more. All right, here we go. Come on down here. There we go. Only two more to go. Two more to go. You know, now that the mortal terror has started to wear off, it's actually getting really frustrating trying to find these last two withers. All right, now that I've found this again, I kind of need to get my head back in the game because all this running around searching has kind of got me a little bit lazy about how I go about this, but um, here we go. Okay, he's focusing on the on the zombie, I think, which is helping a lot. Oh boy. Okay, it was helping. Oh no. All right, please don't die here. There you go. Oh, okay. All right, we're good. And I'm about to run out of uh, night vision. It's a really good thing I killed it when I did. Oh, there we go. And here we go. We got him. That's the last one. That was stressful. That was really str I, I was I was prepared for a little bit of stress, but yeah, this was something else. Yeah, these gigantic cave systems that the withers have just gone through and got rid of everything around here. Part parts of them are natural, but a lot of it was just completely taken out by the withers, especially down here in this area. There's just so much space down here now. And I just can't believe that this little setup we made here that didn't end up being all that helpful for us uh, didn't get destroyed at all. If I go just a tiny bit closer, yep, there's all this. You know, as I sit here thinking about making these beacons in the aftermath of all that chaos, I'm just not sure that I, <laughs> I can even make these beacons. I almost feel like I ought to just hang these up on the wall and use them as a memory for what... <laughs> what just happened here because that was I don't know if this all came together perfectly and how I end up editing this because I haven't even begun but that none, none of that none of that was even remotely planned like 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 you saw at the beginning that I I had a general plan but I kind of didn't expect that plan to go so badly and yeah there there was a period of time where I was legitimately terrified that the withers gonna were gonna come out of the ground and come over here and destroy all of this awesome stuff that we built over here I was pretty scared and I'd intended to get a whole lot more done I'd wanted to kind of get started on the interiors in here finish up a little bit of the loose ends that we've got to tie up around this this whole area right here but I think I think that's just where I'm gonna have to end this today we we got so much done we got stop it we got this lighthouse done, we got the wither skeleton farm done, and, well, we fought nine withers at the same time, and that, that was just, that took a long time, and that was really difficult. In the next episode, I'm gonna start getting to work on this area over here. I'm gonna turn this into my storage system, and this is something that I've been waiting for for a long time. We're finally ready to start moving across the bridge. We'll, we'll come back and finish up all of this stuff at some point. Are, are you kidding me? He came all the way up here to attack me. We're going to clear out all of this and we're going to create a gigantic storage system like port area and it's going to be really, really cool. I'm excited for that. And to be honest, the thing I'm most excited about is to be able to get out of this little storage system over here because we are just overflowing everywhere. This thing is nowhere close to big enough. You can see we've got shulkers just everywhere over here. We've got more shulkers everywhere over here. I keep adding more chests as we go, just slowly running out of more storage and it's it's still not even close to enough. So we're gonna get all of this taken care of. It's gonna be all automatic and it's gonna be awesome. But unfortunately, that does mean that that's all I've got for this episode. Definitely go down in the comments and let me know what you want me to do with that area over there. You can't really see it in the render distance, but it's right underneath spawn. That's where I fought all the withers. And we've got like a giant labyrinth system down there that I feel like we can turn into a really cool 
building of some kind. I, I don't really know. You'll have to let me know. And in next episode, we're gonna move over here. We're gonna start our storage system and hopefully... <laughs> This is what I wanted the beacons for. I want to put beacons all the way around here and lower this down maybe 10 blocks or so. It's going to be a, a huge effort once again. But yeah, I've got to turn this into a lake so that we can create our lake city. Oh, there's, there's just so much stuff to get done. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.